All right, I am JP Elchek, and this is my oceanography lab on convection currents. It's my very first video that I'm putting up on YouTube. Hopefully, this all works out well. Uh, part one, we have a, this is setup A with one heat source in the middle. Um, as you can see from the setup, you have four styrofoam cups uh, with two lids on them to allow you to place the other cup in the middle there. Uh, you put three drops of food coloring um, across the bottom of the middle, uh, evenly space them, and then you put the heat source in the middle underneath the middle drop. And as you can see, the heat is causing the water that's right above it to heat up and rise to the top of the surface. And when it gets to the surface, it's starting to cool and spread out, and it's going towards the edge. Um, also, the other food coloring drops in the bottom are starting to be pulled towards that heat source in the bottom. And eventually, as you can see right now, you can see the green food coloring kind of mixing and going uh, up the same way that the orange food coloring did. Uh, here is a clip of it when it's a little bit later. Uh, after it's been allowed to mix a little bit longer, the green is almost towards, pretty much towards the middle. It started to go along the outside as well and cool and sink. Uh, it's an example of a convection current, is what we're doing. Yeah, get a little bit closer look there, you can see exactly what's happening. Uh, part one, same thing, setup B. Uh, two heat sources on the sides. You do the same setup as before. Um, this time you're doing the three colors on the bottom with the two heat sources. Uh, my one cautionary thing is I didn't exactly put the orange drop in the center as well as I should have, so it started to go to the right as you can see there. Um, but the heat, uh, the heat sources are still causing that water to rise straight up. It's cooling and then it's going spreading out, and then condensing and then falling. Not condensing. It's just uh, cooling and sinking back towards the bottom. <sighs> Still just a convection current. Again, I was just stressed that you need to watch the placement. Um, part one, set up two or C, two heat sources. Um, both at each end with the cold water. Um, this time you put the two food coloring drops on the right side. We, we used green here. Um, and then we added the blue ice cubes in the top left corner. And as the, the water, s the, the really cold ice cubes sank with the water on the left side, and then they started to drift over towards the heat source, and then they melted, and that cold water is actually trapping some of the other water in a little like pocket of air a little pocket of water I should say I'm sorry Um, the second part of the lab was the thing about ocean current density. We're using not only temperature, but also the salinity of the water. Uh, first we have the yellow salt water. After placing the container with just a little bit of water up there, tilted on the, uh, the wooden block, adding the yellow salt water. Um, the salt causes the water to be more dense, so it's sinking towards the bottom.
pretty cool. Let that sit there and settle so that it gets all in one layer. Uh, next, we're adding the cold blue water. It's a lot colder than the norm, like the tap water that was used to fill the container, but still, it doesn't have any salt in it. So you'll see it's going to form a layer above the yellow, but still not quite at the surface because it's uh, colder than the water above it. It's flowing down there, hitting the yellow salt water and forming a layer. Showing it to you in bits and pieces, but you can see that it takes a little while. Uh, eventually, I didn't show it right here, but we added uh, a hot red water on top to show a top layer. And then I think, yeah, the warm hot water, no salt in it. So it's the least end, so it's floating on top and because it's so warm. And then finally, we're adding the extremely cold um, salt water, which should go down and lay on the very bottom below the yellow salt water. But I think they were actually kept at the same temperature, so instead they kind of mixed more than forming two distinct layers. So that would be one thing I would definitely change if I ever redid this experiment. I was just using the school's materials. I didn't get to do this lab at home. I was doing it at the FAU uh, Ocean Engineering Laboratory. Very cool place, might I add. Haven't been there before today. Uh, the end. That's it. Hopefully uh, you could use this to... Alright, I am...